Twelve days before the 500 day mark, Tom runs into Summer at his favorite spot and shares a final moment of closure. Tom baffled by the idea that Summer could be someone's wife, he starts to express that it sucks to know that everything he believes in is utter bullshit. Destinies, soulmates, true love, and all that childhood fairy tale nonsense. Summer reassures him that everything he believes in was correct except for her. After one final moment of silence, Summer stands up to leave and she starts to walk away. Tom calls out to her one final time and he tells her, I really do hope that you're happy. Tom sits back down on his favorite bench and continues his gaze of the city and we skip along to day 500. Just as the film is about to end, the narrator speaks about Tom holding these new ideas that everything is pure coincidence. Just as Tom finishes a conversation with this girl that he's competing with a job for, he stands up to go to his interview. Remembering the words that Summer had told him about his original ideals, he momentarily subsides coincidence and he plunges back to ask this girl for a cup of coffee after their interview. The girl says no, but she then starts thinking about taking the dive and then deciding to go through with it. She agrees to get coffee with Tom. The two introduce themselves and the 500 days of Summer counter resets to one with the now autumn themed background. She got see high by Mom Run starts to play and the ending credits start to roll. 500 Days of Summer is a film that really strikes a chord for anyone who's ever been in Tom's shoes. I'm going to take a guess that anyone who says that they either really love this film or really hate it is possibly because they were Tom. I was Tom. But that was a long time ago and I can say that I'm well into the autumn counter. For anyone who's had their summer and they so badly wish to start their autumn days, I want to take a moment and share what I feel is the way to get there and how we can see this in the film itself how Tom starts leading away from summer and into autumn. First off, let's think about what led Tom into meeting Autumn. Tom met Autumn by deciding to go to his job interview that was exactly 12 days since the last time he's met Summer. If we think about what Tom was doing around these days, we can assume that he was prepping for this job interview. We see Tom go through multiple interviews before day 488. We know that Tom at this time was still trying to get over Summer as he doesn't truly congratulate her on her marriage. Tom was still having these moments of confusion about what went wrong with Summer. But we know that he no longer feels sorry for himself as he's decided to do something that was probably either a moment of inspiration or a moment of distraction. There are a set of scenes starting at the hour and 7 minute mark in which we are taken into Tom's reality versus expectations when attending a party that Summer invited him to. We are shown reality and expectations side by side and they are two clearly different experiences. Tom wishes so badly for this to be the night that he wins back the girl, but the reality is that it's nothing like how it plays out in his head. There's a video in which this entire sequence is analyzed that I'll link in the description. The scene ends with Tom rushing out of the party once he sees Summer with an engagement ring. This was day 408. 34 days later, Tom quits his job while wallowing in misery. This is the start of the path to autumn. As Tom steps out of the elevator after quitting, there's a bright light and a simple uplifting tune plays momentarily with the idea of possibility. After a few more days of misery, Tom has this moment. A moment that I mentioned that might be inspiration or distraction. But Tom starts to immerse himself in architecture. Tom wasn't happy in his last job. At the start of the film, we see that he's kind of just existing at his current job. Summer was the catalyst to the start of his transition into architecture. Although it was a brutal journey for him to get there, nonetheless he starts focusing on truly becoming an architect. This here is pinnacle to Tom meeting Autumn and being able to finally stop the summer counter. While it may have been something that started off because he was jobless or because he needed to take his mind off of Summer, Tom started taking the necessary steps to truly move on from her. This was by means of passion. Rather than staying in bed all day miserably eating Twinkies, Tom started taking the time to read architecture, he cleans up his look and goes on multiple interviews, he starts drawing and practicing his skill. All of this is done in a series of cityscape time lapses over a wolf mother song to emphasize these moments of passion and determination. The final cuts of these scenes is Tom looking back at his work and Summer on her wedding day. The final lyrics of the song go, cause I'll tell you everything about being free signifying that Tom is attempting to no longer be weighed down by Summer. Tom's immersion of work is the truest thing to take from this. Prior to day 456, we seen Tom at his worst because of Summer, while making no real effort to move forward but only trying to salvage something that's been broken. For anyone who feels that they are here, this is the best advice that I can give to you. Do what Tom did and immerse yourself in your passion, whatever it may be. It was clear that Tom and Summer were not a good fit for each other just based on their color schemes. Summer's blue and Tom's brown. 
But the moment that Tom stopped trying to salvage this relationship and he started focusing on himself was also the moment that he started his path to Autumn. Work on yourself. Be happy doing what you love to do. Because once you stop focusing on other people and you start working on yourself is when the people that you should have in your life start coming around. Now it's not going to happen right away because the goal here is not to focus on the possibility of a new person coming around but the personal growth of oneself. Tom didn't walk into that interview expecting to meet Autumn, it just happened. And the truth is because the film ended here, we don't even truly know if Autumn is the one for Tom, although we can assume so because they instantly clicked because they're both architects and essentially from the same world. However, even if she isn't the one for Tom, that's okay, because the arc that Tom went through with trying to force someone to be the one is now behind him. And if it doesn't work out for him, at least now he's doing what he loves and he has more opportunity to find more people within the same world as him. I know that this isn't anime or anything closely related to it, but I never intended to just do anime. 500 Days of Summer is among my favorite movies because of Tom's character, among other things. This film is a personal masterpiece. I've grown up a lot since first seeing this film and possibly, subconsciously, I started focusing on myself just the way that Tom did and I came out on top of this path of self-destruction. I truly believe that in order to find someone to share your life with, you have to be someone that you can share your happiness with, which can be achieved through passion. This video is a much more personal video for me and so I appreciate giving it a like and sharing it out to someone who may just be like Tom Hansen. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.